Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my presentation on the mysterious dancing plague of Strasbourg, which occurred in 1518. I will be looking at the potential causes of this event and its implications for the human mind. I'm sure you'll find this topic both fascinating and thought-provoking. Let's get started. In 1518, something extraordinary happened in Strasbourg, France on a hot summer day. People suddenly began to dance, sometimes for days at a time, alongside a range of strange symptoms such as sweating, hallucinations, and even heart attacks. Despite centuries of attempts to understand this strange phenomenon, dubbed the Dancing Plague, the causes and implications remain shrouded in mystery. Exploring the Dancing Plague can provide insight into the workings of the human mind and its relationship with the world around us. Strasbourg, a city in France, holds an enduring mystery. In July 1518, a phenomenon unfolded in its streets. Uncontrolled dancing. More and more people joined in the frenzied movements each day, and by the end of August, about 400 dancers were in the throng. Many collapsed from exhaustion, yet resumed dancing once they recovered. Some even danced until their deaths due to heart attacks, strokes, or exhaustion. Witnesses attested that the dancers seemed to be in a trance, unable to control their movements or take notice of their surroundings. What caused the event and what does it suggest about the human mind? We may never have the answer, but the mystery remains. One of the great mysteries of our time is the dancing plague of the 16th century. Historians, medical professionals, and psychologists have attempted to identify the cause and implications of this peculiar event for centuries. Multiple theories and explanations have been put forward, from medical issues to supernatural forces. One of medical ideas suggests it was caused by a type of encephalitis or brain inflammation. Alternatively, the plague might have been a result of the ergot poisoning, which produces symptoms such as hallucinations, convulsions, and more. On the psychological front, some suggest the dancing plague was triggered by mass hysteria, stress, or anxiety. Others point to a curse or demonic possession. Unfortunately, no one can definitively state what sparked the strange event at Strasbourg in 1518. All we can do is hypothesize. Various medical explanations have been offered for the dancing plague of 1518, ranging from the debated to the believable. In medieval times, various medical interpretations were presented to explain this peculiar event. Some hypotheses indicate the possibility of ergotism and encephalitis influencing it, while others claim it as an example of mass psychogenic illness, or mass hysteria. In any case, it is without question that the dancing plague of 1518 impacted those who experienced it deeply. An explanation for the mysterious phenomenon known as the dancing plague, could be that it was a form of mass hysteria. Mass hysteria is a phenomenon in which people exhibit similar physical or emotional symptoms without any observable physical cause, and it is possible that the intense emotions and stress of the time of social and political upheaval may have been the trigger. Additionally, it is plausible that the dancing was a form of ritualized behavior, as a socially accepted way for people to express and release their emotions. Dancing has long been seen as a form of therapy, and in this case it may have acted as a coping mechanism for the individuals affected by the rigors of daily life. The dancing plague of Strasbourg in 1518 has been linked to otherworldly phenomena, from dancing spirits to demonic possession. Although modern science has largely discounted these theories, they still reflect the trepidations of people in the Middle Ages when it came to the unknown. It was a frightful prospect, lending testament to the belief in the unseen energies that rule over us. We may never know what sparked the dancing plague, but it serves as an important warning to never belittle the power of what lies beyond our comprehension. The dancing plague of 1518 in Strasbourg, France, is one of the most mysterious and perplexing events in history. At its height, hundreds of people were affected, with reports of individuals dancing without rest for days on end. As if something had taken control of their minds and bodies, 
many people were driven to exhaustion and even death by the strange compulsion to dance. Although the exact cause of the dancing plague remains a mystery, historians have put forth a number of theories to explain its occurrence. From supernatural influences to social and political unrest, each of these theories offers a unique perspective on what might have caused the strange phenomenon to happen. The phenomenon of mass hysteria is not new to our history. In 1962, in Tanganyika, hundreds of people experienced uncontrollable fits of laughter for no apparent reason. In 1692, the Salem witch trials took place in Massachusetts, where several young girls accused numerous individuals of witchcraft, leading to 20 executions. The Dancing Plague of 1518 in Strasbourg and the Tanganyika Laughter Epidemic of 1962, as well as the Salem Witch Trials of 1692, are just a few well-known examples of mass hysteria. Such episodes still occur today and remind us of the complexity of human behavior. In 1518, the Dancing Plague had a major effect on the people of Strasbourg, leading to physical harm and even death due to exhaustion and injuries. It also led to economic and social disruption. Despite the negative impact that this phenomenon had, historians and psychologists have studied it to gain further knowledge into the force of suggestion and the influence of social and cultural aspects on the human psyche. For centuries, the Dancing Plague of 1518 has been a subject of fascination, reflected in all forms of media and pop culture. The German folk tale of the Pied Piper of Hamelin is strikingly similar, as are Electric Sixa, Dance Epidemic, and Camille saint saens Tarantella. It is evident that the Dancing Plague of 1518 still has a profound influence, continuing to captivate the minds of many. Its legacy is immortalized in the many tributes across media and pop culture. Dancing mania has been a captivating event for centuries, with large gatherings of individuals uncontrollably dancing in the streets, sometimes for multiple days in a row, with exorbitant convulsions, illusions, and fainting. Although most prevalent in Europe, similar incidents have been reported internationally, from Africa to Asia. Despite lack of clarity as to the cause, it is an example of how collective behavior can be affected by surroundings and cultural factors. The Dancing Plague of 1518 is a perplexing and mysterious episode in European history. Despite the difficulty of determining the cause, several hypotheses have been put forward. One widespread supposition is that the dancers were exhibiting defiance towards the stern social and religious conventions of the era. Alternatively, the dancing may have been a manifestation of spiritual fervor, a link to a higher divine force. Whatever the actual purpose of the collective activity was, it remains an engrossing topic even in the present day. Music has long been a mainstay of human culture, but in 1518, it showed its unique power in the extraordinary circumstance of the dancing plague. This mass outbreak of frenzied dancing was thought to indicate the power of music to spark strong emotion and energy in people. Traditional folk tunes were performed with an intense beat that spurred people to dance continuously, sometimes to the point of collapse. Music in this way was seen as a way to express and stimulate powerful emotions like joy, elation, and spiritual bliss. Mass hysteria has been a recurrent phenomenon throughout history, manifesting in different forms with serious results. Examining the dancing plague of 1518 may help us comprehend modern psychological problems such as panic attacks and anxiety illnesses, providing a better comprehension of these conditions. The fascinating dancing plague of Strasbourg in 1518 has prompted much debate and curiosity over the centuries. Though the exact causes of the event may never be known, it still provides us with invaluable insight into collective hysteria, and how a group of individuals can become swept up in a shared illusion or frenzy. This occurrence causes us to reflect on our comprehension of human conduct and the potency of suggestion in our culture. Furthermore, it stands as a reminder of the significance of carefully analyzing and understanding the root causes of mass hysteria and how to counter it. For centuries, the mysterious and terrifying phenomenon of the dancing plague has held readers in its grip and spurred artists to explore its fascinating cultural implications and its lasting impact on the human psyche. 
From ancient Greece to 17th century Germany, this phenomenon has fascinated those that have encountered it. The Dancing Plague has been a popular source of inspiration for artists for centuries, such as Hans Holbein the Younger's painting, The Dance of Death, which captures the inevitability of all life, and Auguste Rodin's sculpture, The Dancing Plague, showing the physical and emotional suffering of those affected. Both works act as a strong reminder of the devastating effects of the phenomenon. Now, onto something a bit more light-hearted, a fantasy novel series that has been much anticipated. The Dancing Plague of 1518 has been a source of fascination for centuries, captivating people with its peculiarity and shedding light on the history of the human mind. It inspired various musical works over the centuries, ranging from the medieval chant, Dies Irae, to the British band Kasabian's song, Dancing Shoes. Movie producers have held a long-standing interest in the dancing plague. Bergman's classic film, The Seventh Seal, follows a knight as he plays a game of chess with death in an attempt to prevent his own mortality, with townspeople in the background feverishly dancing. Christopher Smith's Black Death is a thrilling piece that dwells upon the subject of mass hysteria, in which villagers give in to an irresistible urge to dance themselves to death in an effort to evade the plague. Both films offer a deep analysis of the mysterious dancing plague of 1518. Thank you.